All right, so, oh, wow. So, Taurus, this is a change <laughs> in your energy from the last few readings. We have regeneration and clean it up. So, Taurus, uh, I feel like you're looking for some kind of change, transformation. I feel like you are getting ready to, like, clean up a mess or clean up a connection uh, that maybe had, I was just going to say chaos and conflict, that maybe had some chaos and conflict. Your person has chaos and conflict. All right. I feel like it's kind of switched. Maybe it's a whole new energy. Because hmm, the last few weeks, Taurus, it's been the same story. So I feel like maybe it's changing. All right. And then we have Yang for your person. So chaos and conflict and Yang. And regeneration, which is like transformation and clean it up. Hmm. I feel like your person is in a very aggressive, fiery energy. Um, there could have been heated, passionate arguments. Your person can have, could have been like uh, blaming, pointing the fingers, very strong, strong energy there. Um, very masculine, male or female, it doesn't matter. We all have feminine and masculine energies. Um, I feel like your person was very like dominant, like forceful fighting energy. All right, let's get into current energies. What's going on with Taurus's person? Current energies for Taurus's person. Current energies, please, for Taurus's person. <sighs> there you are, King of Pentacles, male or female again, doesn't matter. No gender in tarot. All right, so you're showing up in their energy. Keep in mind, Taurus, this is a general reading. I could be talking about your person, but it could be your energy and vice versa, okay? It can be flip-flopped and reversed. Um, but you're showing up in their energy, first card out. Could be dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, though. What else do we have? Oh, the lovers, Gemini energy. Does your person have a choice? Do you have a choice? Something like that going on in love. Let's see, what else? Current energy is for Taurus's person. Thank you. Page of Wands in the reverse. Could be an age difference between the two of you. It doesn't have to be. I'm kind of feeling like maybe the passion, the fire, the excitement of this kind of dimmed down. It's not as exciting as it once was. The passion, the desire, the I have to have you now maybe faded out a bit. The chariot, Cancerian energy. Making a decision to move forward. Picking a way, picking a path. Eight of Wands. So uh, I would expect to hear communication from your person, Taurus. I feel like they want to communicate something to you. Possibly that they made some kind of choice in love. And they want things to move forward. To what? To what? To what? Okay. All right. <sighs> I feel like it's really vague. We have three of pentacles in the world here. So either your person wants to come together, collaborate, teamwork, build something together, take those ideas and fantasies and everything you guys have been talking about and actually put them into action and bring them into the 3D, make it real. Um, there could be travel involved here. You guys could live at a distance or this person wants to start a new cycle with you. You could be dealing with another fixed sign. So Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius could be one of them. It doesn't have to be. I feel like there's an end of a cycle and a, a, the start of something new here. Let's see. Blockages. What's blocking this connection for Taurus? Karma. Judgment, scorpionic energy, reconciliation. Wow, Taurus, this is different. This is this is a different group that I'm reading for than the last few weeks. I feel could change, but 
Reconciliation is being blocked. And this time, so last time, the last few times, Taurus, you guys weren't wanting to reconcile with this person, which you still may not actually want to. Actually, you may want a change, like clean up your act, clean up your love life. You may want a change in that and not with this person. Maybe they caused too much. So it could be the same. <laughs> they may have caused too much conflict, you know, chaos. So again, reconciliation is being blocked here or making a big decision or a big judgment call. Victory and success is being blocked with the six of wands, knight of pentacles, things moving slow and steady and being grounded and um, methodical and practical. All of that is being blocked along with the Emperor Aries energy. Taking control, taking action, doing something, right? Um, bossing up, owning up to things. All of that is being blocked. So there may have been numerous arguments with this person and they still refuse to own up to their faults. It could be projecting the blame game, pointing the fingers, that kind of a thing going on here. So victory and success just isn't to be had. It's being blocked. There could have been a very painful, hurtful ending with that Ten of Swords and then Seven of Wands. Someone was being a little too protective, either of their own energy or being overprotective of this connection. Being possessive, jealous, accusations, that kind of a thing going on. So you may have been like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. Because this person is, they're very um, feisty, fiery but not in like the good, feisty, fiery way because it's next to the chaos and conflict. I feel like they could have been demanding, controlling, had high expectations of you. You needed to deliver that kind of an energy. Let's see, how does this person truly feel about you, Taurus? How does this person truly feel? King of Wands. They could feel like you are, though. This is Leo, Aries, Sag. This is fire energy. I feel like they see you as fun, flirty, attractive, outgoing, adventurous, spontaneous, all of that. Um, the center of attention, pe making people laugh, have a good personality. Um, you attract a lot of people, but it's... I feel like this person sees you as like, oh, you get a lot of attention, so you must be hooking up with everybody. Like that kind of, like they don't understand your your energy. All right, what else? How else do they feel about Taurus? How else do they feel? High priest. They want commitment with you. They want higher level of commitment with you. Like they want to like shack up and get married. <laughs> you know, swords. They feel like you're you're stuck or there's stagnant energy here. You're not seeing things clearly, or they want to. Oh God, I'm getting a negative energy with this person. I feel like they almost want to keep you stuck. Mm, I don't like that. They want you all for themselves. They want to keep you, like, stuck. They know it stresses you out, though. They know your sleepless nights, high stress, high anxiety, overthinking, restless, sleepless nights. Or they are, too. Page of Pentacles. Could be an age difference between the two of you. Doesn't have to be. I feel like this person... Sees you as like newly stable or like just starting out being like having your own stability in your life. Okay. Um, may not be the truth. It's their truth. It's how they see it. Okay. And then we have the devil Capricorn energy, the shadow side. This person feels very much stuck bound to you. But I also feel like there is a level of toxicity in this connection. And I don't think it's you. I think it's them. 
you could all be like always having to clean up messes that they make and always having to pick them up and help them and uplift them and tell them everything's okay and all of that. That could be what that clean it up is. Like you're you're just tired of cleaning up the messes that they make from their actions, from their behaviors, things they say, you know? I feel like you're you're just tired of that. Let's see, potential outcome. What's the potential outcome here for Taurus? We have the Hierophant again. Some of you could actually already be married to this person or in a higher level of commitment with them. Potential outcome. Oh, that wanted to come out. We have Knight of Wands, Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Judgment, Scorpionic Energy, The Magician, Gemini. This person, this person may use manipulation to have a reconciliation with you. Just be aware of that. They might. They might try to trick you into coming back to them. They might play you. Mm. The player card. The Knight of Wands, that's my player card. And then the Magician, which could be manifesting or manipulation, trickery, fuckery, whatever you want to call it. They may use sex. They may use every tool in their toolbox to try and get you to reconcile with them. They want commitment with you, Taurus. But I feel like they cause a lot of drama. Yeah, they cause a lot of this. Arguing, competition, tit for tat, one-upping each other, just heated arguments. Well, there's the Queen of Wands. Now we got the King and Queen of Wands on the table. They see you as a divine counterpart. You could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag, a fire sign. The High Priestess, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Mm, Taurus. <sighs> There's that devil again. Taurus, I, I got to be honest here. I'm not digging this person's energy. I feel like they are trying every trick in the book to get you back. And I feel like for some of you... I feel like it's working for some of you, not all of you. And don't get mad at me. Don't throw your phone. Don't click off. <laughs> don't get mad. <laughs> I feel like some of you are falling for it. Some of you are not though. So let me see what else, what else potential outcome? Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Yeah, see, they're going to lure you back in. Let's start a new chapter. Let's do this over. Let's start fresh. They're trapping you. They're trapping you. They're going to get what they want, which is commitment, stability. If you're like doing well for yourself, be careful. I just, there's bad intentions, I feel, with this person. You may have been with them for a while and you probably know, but you also love them. So it's hard, like you care, you have a heart, you're not a cold hearted person. I feel like this person, they have, it's not secrets. I don't want to say this person is hiding things from you. I feel like this person is intuitive and they know how to manipulate with that. You, they know you, you know them. They know how to play you. They know how to pull at your heartstrings. They know how to get your attention. It's going to make you feel stuck. It's like they're they're trapping you almost into a, a new a new cycle. I do feel like this could be a karmic. 
the judgment card, that's karma. So just, if you're resonating with this, be careful. I feel like this person's trying to trap you into another cycle. You need to learn your lesson, Taurus. You got to learn your lesson. Because if you're sitting here thinking, yeah, all right, you know, they've changed. They show like they've changed. They're promising change. It's a ruse to get you back. And you're thinking, all right, shit's changing. Let's clean this up. And then I see the devil. It's like popping up, you know. Ugh, it's tough energy. It's just going to leave you feeling trapped or stuck. Especially if they get you into a point of commitment with a contract. <laughs> That's, you're, you're stuck, stuck, you know? Ooh, all right, let's see. What's the biggest obstacle Taurus is going to have to overcome? Obstacles for Taurus. The lovers. Yeah, you're going to have to make a decision. This is Gemini energy. You're going to have to make a choice here in love, regarding love. Participation. How much work and effort are you going to put into this before you start listening to your inner voice, your intuition, what you want, what you feel is right? So how much work and effort are you going to have to put in until you start listening to your intuition on what the right choice is? And then we have adventure. You might... You might like this person because they match your energy as far as like that spontaneous, adventurous side, you know, go with the flow, whatever. Um, and you may feel like I'm never going to find that. That's, you know, I found it with this person. It's like pros and cons, guys. Take out a piece of paper and make a pros and cons list. Then throw it away because they're probably going to find it and get mad. I'm full of tips and tricks. All right. <laughs> just kidding. Just having fun, you guys. Um, but seriously, you might want to weigh the pros and cons here, you know? Do you see yourself really happy with this person in 10 years from now? If you did end up marrying this person or having children with this person, is that going to make you happy or are you going to feel like this? You know, those are questions you need to ask yourself before you allow them to pull out your heartstrings. All right, what else do we have for Taurus? What other messages? What other messages for Taurus? Messages, please. Spring, your love is blooming. Your answers arrive in the spring. So you may have some time. The struggle may continue for a little while. Masculine, your divine masculine, your twin or soulmate seeking you. Uh, yeah, I told you they're being in that masculine energy. <laughs> Not saying you're feminine or, you know, whatever. It doesn't, you guys know what I mean. Masculine, feminine exists in all. But I feel like their energy right now, they're taking the masculine approach. They're being very action-oriented, forward-thinking, passionate, driven, powerful, dominant, that kind of an energy. Or trying to control or take control. But yeah, they're, they're a twin flame, which is a karmic sometimes, you know, the karmic twin flames. Release. Release, loosen your hold, relax, unwind, release fear, anxiety, and doubt, cycles, momentum, force, life cycles, stay grounded in the now, and unawakened, unaware, 3D, ego, darkness, your twin flame is not ready yet, I feel like, I feel like they're, they're just not mature, I feel like in the other readings, like, there was a lot of, like, emotional instability, and things were haywire and crazy and then observe social media fascination curiosity watching from a distance you betcha they're watching you on social media maybe even driving by your house just to see what you're up to I'm telling you there's <laughs> ah, there's just something about the energy i'm like <laughs> i don't know taurus i'm sorry i just don't like the energy i just feel like it's there there's a what is it? Like a, a method behind it, a, a control behind it. You know what I mean? But behind their motive here, there's, there, there's just intention isn't good. 
uh, boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure, closure issues. Yeah, move on, sail away. <laughs> oh, Taurus, I've been doing readings all day, all day yesterday too. I'm like talked out. I just need to make jokes. Uh, acts, break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. Go out with friends. Have fun. That's what that one says. Uh, all right, what would this person like to say to you if they could, Taurus? What would they like to say to Taurus if they could? I have committed to someone else because they don't challenge me. That could be you. <coughs> Excuse me. I still feel deeply connected to you, but I won't admit it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think, Taurus. I don't know. <laughs> At least for in the meantime, I mean, I'm not here to tell you what to do. Use your own discernment. I'm just reading the energies of the cards and I can tell you I don't like the energy that's coming off. No one ever loved me again the way you did. I never appreciated you until you were gone. That's probably pulling on your heartstrings, but that's what I have for you, Taurus.